What's up, my favorite people, my shining stars? I hope you're shining bright. Nothing than anybody dim that light. My name is Trinity, and welcome to my channel, all about the healing. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all my riding dies. You know what? That's been rocking with me from the beginning of my time. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. I can't go in my long, long spiel because it's going to be a quick read, but I just want to tell you how much I love you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for my new subscribers. Thank you. I'm honored and welcome. Hit the bell, guys. Donations. Thank you, thank you, thank you for donating to the channel. Thank you for those who want to donate. Go to the description box. And those who's thinking about it, just know if when you when you donate here, it's 100%. What you reap, you shall sow. It is so, so be it, I shay. All right, so if you're vibing with me, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Uh, right now, energy is energy. Um, if you have not, if this is your first time to the channel, please go to the description description box. Everything is in the description box. If you have any questions, just let me know. Hit me up, and I will respond back. Let's get into it, guys. But we can't get into it until what? We roll. So let's roll with it. We are honoring the sign of Virgo. Bam. There it is, Virgo. So, Virgo, I'm not gonna go into my normal, normal thing, but what I'm, what I am gonna say, keep it moving, keep it pushing, stay focused, stay positive, keep walking into your destiny. Don't let nobody stop, block, or keep you from your success. There it is. Bam. All right, what we got going on today, guys? We are going to do love. We're going to do money and career. And yes, we're going to do secrets. What is being hidden from you? Uh, do you have a hidden enemy? Whatever is being hidden, we're going to see what we can find out concerning Virgos. All right. So on the uh, love part, we have collective. So what's happening with you collectively in love, all right? So this may resonate. It may not by being broken off into three. So if it don't resonate with love, maybe it'll resonate with career and money or maybe it'll resonate with you um, in the secret part, okay? So what we got for Virgo for love? And bear with me, guys. I'm going to try to move. You know how I do. For those of you that know me, that's been here for a while, you already know that I can get long-winded, especially if spirit has got a lot that they, that they have to say or they want to say. So I'm going to try to keep this short because I got a lot I got to do. However, you know the deal. So let's get into it. All right. So for love, we have poverty. Okay. We have 20. We have destiny. We have healer of ages as your advice. Okay. Quickly and right off the bat, somebody um, who was stubborn, somebody that, somebody from the past, and I know that we not really as a collective not interested into the past people who have hurt us who have done things to us and i'm saying us because as a collective we all in the same boat however this is a past person <clears throat> who had did you wrong denied you act like you was not important Act like what you had to offer was not good enough. You was not good enough. You was not wanted. This person uh, was hiding how they truly felt. They wanted you to feel some type of way because they was running from their feelings and emotions. They didn't want to give because in order to give, they will have to be vulnerable. And this person didn't want to be vulnerable. Okay. So now this person is feeling a lack. This is them in the current current state, all right? And this person has been in this current state because as a collective, 
we a lot of us have walked away and not going back and it's in the people from the past people places and things if you are rolling with the collective as a collective energy you're not uh tolerating this type of behavior and you've moved on so if that's the case for those who have moved on from the person from the past looking forward not not entertaining any foolishness standing in your power standing in who you are and what you believe in this person is suffering they're suffering the loss the lack because this person when they had you when they had your presence when they had your energy when they had you uh, chasing them wanting them pouring all your energy into them uh, uh, going uh, obsessing over them they had the power they had the power when you was chasing them when you turned your attention onto yourself and took your power back focusing on yourself minding your own business that took this power away which means that this person is lacking okay so with that being said because you know I can go on with this energy and what this is but we got to move on because I said I, this was going to be quick right I already in six minutes in all right so look collectively all right so this since this person is in lack woulda coulda shoulda wanting you back wanting your energy back let's not get it twisted let's be real okay this person wants your energy back, wants your presence back. Therefore, because they know with your energy, with your presence, they can gain that power. This is about power. This is not about love. Because if you love somebody, you will fess up, be vulnerable, and do whatever it takes to be with them. But this is opposite of that, because this is about power. Uh, if you hear that, the, the uh, if you hear the line, ain't nothing I can do about that. We're gonna hope and pray that they'll move on. All right. Let me just hold on a minute while they ride by. Okay. All right, we got to move on. All right, so what this means is that this person here is wanting to meet up. This is about union. This card is about partnership. This is a two. Partnership, balance. They want to balance the. They want to balance the connection. They want union. They want things to be harmonized. They want communication. They want to uh, court you. They want to be with you. They want to turn things around. But again, like I said, be careful with this. I can't speak for all, but majority of the people that's in this uh, in this energy, that it's not about love. It's about power and what they can get to come out of this energy. Okay. All right. So. If you're going back to the going back to the past, be careful. Everybody not everybody's not in this that's in this energy is uh, just power, but majority of them. Some people have learned their lessons and really do want to come back to you. You have to use your own discernment. You have to get with your own uh, uh, <clears throat> your own angels, your own spiritual team to, to assess what's going on in your in your connection because this person wants to come back because they believe that you are their destiny even though you two are different different is too left <laughs> you guys are too different you are opposites that attract this person is believing that the divine himself chose you two to be together in this lifetime they believe that you are their life partner you are the one you are who they supposed to be with however this person with your advice card, I got to go on and move on to the advice card because your advice card says what? Healer of ages. So somebody needs to heal. Somebody still needs to heal. Somebody needs to, uh, to look within themselves and heal. And that's why this person is in this energy right here. So again, you got red flags here. It's red flags here. So if somebody's coming back, from the past just know collectively even though i know because we've been doing the readings collectively again guys excuse the background noise if you can hear it but i gotta keep going so if this is you collectively we already know that the people from the past is stalking uh uh um 
you know, low key, you know, uh, uh, wanting to know what's going on, stalking your fi uh, your uh, profile, stalking your Facebook pages and Instagram and all these other things based off what has been the previous readings that has gone forth. You, but right now, if you are interested in your person from the past, okay, you're interested in that person and you want that person back, you cannot fall for this. You have to continue moving on and this person it will have to prove to you that they're ready for a union such as this one. All right, because what these cards and what this red flag is saying is that somebody needs healing. Somebody's not ready. Somebody still needs healing. And your advice is to let this person heal and you keep moving forward. And when divine timing kicks in, when and if this is your divine life partner, not saying this is not your, your, your soulmate. We have many soulmates. Not saying that this is not the case. I'm saying that this person needs healing. This person is not ready. And if you go before that time that this person is ready, you're not doing nothing but hurting your own self in the long run. You're going, you, you're going back in time to go through the cycle again. Everything that you've worked for, everything that you have done so far is not and void. You have to start all over again if you go back too soon. So what I'm saying is use your discernment, get with your spiritual team, and they will never steal you wrong. All right, so as a collective, that's that. All right, let's move on to money and career. All right, money and career. We have a fair man. We have grasshopper. We have rabbit. We have scissors. All right. So, <laughs> okay, I had to read this concerning career and money. Cause so, so right now, these cards, as if I read it as for career and money, let me let this man go by. So sorry, y'all. I didn't know. So sorry. Okay. All right, so if I read this for career... Um, we got a masculine energy so we know that masculine energy could be a male or female masculine energy, energy could be male or female hold on a minute know this masculine energy could be male or female okay so we have a masculine energy that we that's uh either dealing with your career or your money okay um this could be a boss this could be a co-worker this could be uh somebody you in business with but some fair man okay is dealing with your financial finances your finances or your career and you're disappointed somebody's disappointed about your finances now i don't know why this person is in your business why they concerned about you and what you're doing what your career about your money i don't understand okay let me see because but this is what it's saying D disappointment and some type of affair you, disappointment in your fight this man this masculine energy is disappointed and what's going on? They're disappointed in this in the situation with life period. This this is about life period, meaning this this person can't focus on their finances and do the work that's required. This is what I'm getting. Okay, this person can't focus on their finances and do what's required to to. Um, they're disappointed with life period. Situations matter. Everything is in is off is unbalanced. Their finances, they're not doing good at work. They can't focus on work because basically this card right here tells it all. This person is focused on sex, a relationship, love, 
family, some kind of uh, some some kind of situation that this person is have they oh my god this is getting on my nerves hold on hold on one second i can't really sorry 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 but try to get through this give me a couple more seconds because 15 minutes is already and went by all right because i was getting to where this was going it's a masculine energy. This masculine energy could be you. This masculine energy could be someone else connected to you. However, if they're connected to you, they're to, they're connected to you significantly, some in some kind of significant way. That's why they're coming up under this. Somebody's disappointed in some situation, and this situation that they're disappointed is going all. It's it's making their whole life that it's, it's turned their whole life upside down their money their career everything is off balance and this particular person if this is you virgo or if this is some somebody connected to virgo or if this is you cross watcher somebody is upset and with this too much with this with this card right here about sexual matters sexual matters means a relationship somebody you you have to be connected with somebody to have sex or we, we know that right we know the other ways you can but i'm this here i'm picking up with somebody is this is is really messed up and this the reason why this is coming up under money and career is because this particular person is always um uh, money means everything to this person Money means every. This is a person that's very materialistic. Uh, money means power. If their money is funny, they messed up. And this month, that this person's money is funny. And so now they're disappointed with life. And the lat what put the last little thing on it is they 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 can't get a handle on their financial matters, which finances for them is nothing. They have a gift for it. This is a business minded person. This is a person who. Uh, um, can is very creative. Can can make money like this, but right now everything. This is the first time in their life that they don't have handle on their finances. They don't have handle over their business. They don't have handle over their career. They are all over the place. Their mind is all messed up and hooked up and thinking about sexual matters, relationships, families, hookups. This person could have a sexual addiction. They're all off balance. So if you want to know what's going on with your person, or if this is you, yeah. If this is you, let me just say, if this is you that's in this situation, you're going to have to get your head right. I already told y'all over and over again about your mind got to get right. Healing is the forefront in order to get out of this you're gonna have to take your mind off of this person off of the situation you're gonna have to move your focus onto yourself for this to work you're gonna have to get back balance and in order to get back balance and, put, and reel everything in is that you're gonna have to take your mind off of somebody else and focus to totally and only on you if this is you, if this is your person, that's what they're going through right now. They, they finances all messed up. They messed up. They messed up. Okay. I got to move on. I could say more, but we are already 19 minutes. And it's because this situation with the line, and he still ain't finished. So, all right. So secrets. All right. Let me, let me lay it down. All right. Okay, we got this person is very arrogant. You dealing with somebody that's arrogant? You might be seeing four, four, four a lot. Um, I have to change this, but you might be seeing four, four, four a lot. Okay. You friend zone this person. 
you don't want to be involved with this person anymore. You friend zone them. This is somebody that is not your type. Somebody um, that you just want to be friends with. But this someone, the hidden, the hidden uh, secret here is that somebody wants you that you don't want them. And you thought it was over with. You told them, hey, you know, hey, you know, it's not going to work out. You're just my friend. But this person is not really in the background taking that friend zone uh, situation well. This person is um, <laughs> really trying to find a way. Because it says, can we be friends? Can we be friends again? You and cut this person off because this person would not accept that. So this person will even settle for friends with benefits. Any way they can get it in, they want you. This person could be a Sag, but this person is arrogant, very arrogant. Not just ar not just arrogant, very arrogant. And that probably is one of the things why you don't want to be with this person because this person, the way they they handle themselves, the way they the way they come off. I'm gonna give you the rest of the messages and then, okay. So the, one of the messages, I know we I know we have not been together long, but you are the one for me. Will you marry me? See, this is somebody. This person want to marry you. Okay, I'm going to give you this message. Um, <laughs> this person wants to marry you, but... Okay, so it says, uh, this is Jagged Edge, the song Jagged Edge. You can go look at the um, lyrics. Let's get married. That's a message. Um, on, bending, on Bending Knee by Boys to Men is a message. So go look it up and read the message because that is how this person is feeling about you. Um, this person is when you friend zone them this person um, got uh, start to get obsessed with you because they did they could not um, accept no for an answer so they sought they, they sought out the tarot readers psychics um, spiritualists and this person took this person's money and did not do the spell or the spell did not work so you really need to know who this person is and what it is is that the secret here as is this person is obsessed with you and you don't know it you think that you friend zone this person and that this person and some of you not only did you friend zone this person you realize that and you things drifted apart but you thinking that it's over but it's not over this person is in the background trying to manifest you back in they're trying to do, try to hire people to change the dynamics of you guys' friendship. They're trying to get you to want them. They're trying to get you to turn, change your mind. They're trying to um, look, uh, they're, uh, looking at your social media. They're trying to find out what's going on in your life. Have you met anybody? They're trying to prevent you from moving on. They're trying to freeze your life and put you at a standstill and as a box. So to change your mind so they can slide back in and get what they want. That is the secret. That is what's being hidden from you. Um, what you can do about it, you got to protect your energy. You got to wake up, find out who this person is, and you got to protect your energy from them. That's what you have to do. Okay? All right. I am so, so sorry, and I apologize for all the um, distraction with the lawn, but um, if this resonates with you, hit the comments, let me know. If you like, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. It helps the channel either way. Share, 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 subscribe, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, in the description box, guys. Um, and thank you for watching and I'm sending love and I'm sending healing away and Trinity is...